Hi guys, I wanted to kind of touch on something for you that I don't usually do. And this is this is not my words. These are these are words that have been passed down before and I've seen them used but um by other Native Americans and I'm going to go ahead and use them myself. Um beliefs are what you are told. And knowledge is what you experience. And um if you believe in a system that you've been told about all your life, you're probably being deceived if you really looked at the root co root cause of that belief. Most most beliefs have a root cause of control. Um, you can apply that to almost anything. Now, if you search yourself and find knowledge, and I do this more with earthly things, um, like um, I know the earth pretty well. Um, here's an example. Now, there is an oral tradition in Native Americans, and, and they try to teach you the way of the land. And my uncle was telling me, um, I live down south, what a water, if I would know if I came upon a water moccasin because of the scent it put off. And the scent was that of like rotten cucumbers. And then one day, they had a pond on their land, and I had came home from school to help on the farm, busy bee, and he stopped me. He told me to put my moccasins on, and he wanted me to walk down that path. He didn't tell me why, and I walked down this path towards a pond, and I smelt it. I smelt the rotten cucumber smell, and I looked out on the pond, and there is a water moccasin. It's sunning on a rock, and it saw me, and it, coming, it, it started coming towards me. So I slowly just walked backwards, you know, I knew what to do, and, um, but I had to experience it for myself, so I knew the knowledge I had to learn myself. So the belief system is what you're told, and Indians do tell, but before you can truly believe, you have to experience it. Now, I have read treaties, so that to my knowledge, is that piece of paper that the government promised to the Native Americans. Um, well, they lied. Of course they did. Instead, they killed people. Um, and i also tell you another story on knowledge and beliefs. Um, because I, I participated in some very sacred ceremonies after the Vietnam War. My uncle was trying to heal those with post-traumatic stress disorder, I guess that's what you call it now, or shell shock back then, or just misguided souls. And he let them camp out. They had 50 acres, and they could camp out, and they could work in the garden. And he decided that they had so much going on that maybe he would build a sweat lodge and start doing some ceremonies that were very sacred. And uh, I got to help because... And it was awesome. And when I participated in one of the ceremonies, whoa, did I really, you know, I'd heard about the ceremonies, but this was a very, very sacred ceremony. And, and what I experienced was unlike anything else, except until recently, because there's signs all about the earth. I can talk to the birds. There's a bird out here. As soon as I go outside, it's going to start chattering at me. Um, it'll never do it on film. Don't know why. But I'll make sounds back to it, and it's almost like a mockingbird now. I, I'm thinking it's probably a crow because they pick up different, um, you know, they, they have ways to communicate with one another. But this one likes to communicate with me. And it almost gets funny because I'll start making different sounds, and it'll try to make those different sounds. But this is just the knowledge of, of our earth. It's magical. It's wonderful. So sometimes the belief systems you're told are just merely to control you. So go experience it yourself and find the true knowledge. And that's what Native Americans do. They, they may take long walks. Um, like I think there was a big walk to some sacred massacre. I think it took them four or five, six days. I'm not sure. And I couldn't even tell you what nation did it. I had just read about it. And um, these people have never walked that trail before to this massacre site. And um, boy, did they experience a lot. So they knew the knowledge of what happened. But you can sometimes just touch the earth or a rock or sit in a certain place. And from the earth itself, it will, I mean, you'll get signs. It will instruct you. 
This happened to me and some friends in March when we were traveling through Oregon. Something just happened. Three of us saw it. Three of us went back to verify it, and it was just like we were left to sign. There was a sign from the earth, from the God verse, from the Creator, and we could not go back and find it again. And it was it was unreal, and it actually gave me hope. Yesterday, I was feeling really down and out. And lo and behold, what falls from the sky? I was thinking about my mother, because it was her birthday yesterday. An eagle feather. Well, that actually is a sign. And it didn't just really fall. Someone actually said, look what I found. Is this an eagle feather? And handed it to me. And it was. And we have a lot of eagles around here. And of course, I know it's illegal. It's not illegal for me to have one. I'm an Indian. And so I have a, you know, I was really, really missing my mom yesterday. So that was like a sign to me, just to me, that's, you know, that everything is going to be okay. So I don't need to go into a church or a courthouse or to a government building to seek what they say. I already know what's in my heart and how we all should live. And we all should live together, you know, and set some differences aside and try to save this earth. Because from what I'm seeing, it's going down the drain. I was reading on all the pollutants in the air that we have right now. And really, they are, it's a depopulation. You're all on the reservation, just like the Indians are. And um, the Indians would gladly welcome anybody with arms wide open if you really wanted to talk to them serious. And they would show you a way to experience some of the knowledge in the earth itself, just the grid, walking the grid. Um, a lot of shamans know this. A lot of people who have have done other things there's instructions written everywhere and we are an image of our creator so the instruction instructions are already written in our heart we don't need books and stuff to tell us how to live we know we already know how to live and yes magical things can happen you can get signs from the creator or from the earth that you're on the right path it's happened to me i hope it's happened to you and I just wanted to give you my point of view on that because I, I get a lot of personal emails asking questions or sending me this way or that way. And they're all beautiful, everything I get. But I must tell you, I do follow a red road. And it's a road of continual knowledge. And, and yes, you can even... I can't be around a lot of electricity um, because I've never been around it. And except in Memphis when I was there, living there... But I don't like big cities because the electricity messes with my instinct. And that instinct is when you're walking on the earth, there is something um, that pulls up and, and you can feel it. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it everywhere. So you need to get back to that point where you can experience and know and have the intuition and not say someone's going to save me because, first of all, we're all going to die. But I don't believe that someone's going to come save us. I believe that the Creator has instructions in our heart, left instructions on how we save ourselves from those who want to control us. Um, so I'm not sitting back waiting for anyone. I myself have to follow my path and do what I can for humanity and not sit and wait for someone else to do it. Anyway, I love you guys. Peace, love, and truth. And I just thought I would share that with you. And I'm out.